Fantasy sports players may want to pay attention here. The Minnesota House this evening passed a bill to legalize online fantasy sports betting. WCCO's Pat Kessler is at the state capitol right now. So, Pat, what are the odds of this becoming law? Uh, the odds, I think, are not too bad here at the Capitol. Many states simply don't have laws regulating sports fantasy games online, which are really getting very, very popular everywhere. It's a phenomenon. and But they're taking a much closer look here in Minnesota at the games, which are really sweeping the country. The money is real. The wildly popular fantasy sports sites require fans to pay a fee, selecting teams made up of different players and competing in daily and weekly games against other fans. And in Minnesota, it's big business. We have almost a million Minnesotans that are playing fantasy sports right now. Um, they're not breaking any law. They're not doing anything that the law says they can't do. The Minnesota bill limits online players to 18 years of age and older, and it bans employees of fantasy sports companies from playing after a scandal that made it appear some of the games were rigged. Although some states are taking legal action against fantasy sports companies, calling it illegal gambling, Minnesota supporters say technically it's not. Fantasy sports are based on education, research, strategic skill um, and decision making based off of um, who you think gives you the best opportunity uh, to win your fantasy sports game. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. Critics say it's legal fiction that fantasy sports guys. isn't illegal Huge gambling with some Huge. winners and a lot of losers. But uh, for every skilled player who wins, there have to be a lot of unskilled <coughs> players who are taking a chance and losing. Well, fantasy sports has become a huge national pastime, so much so that major teams in the NFL, for example, are beginning to incorporate fantasy statistics during their games. And maybe we'll see that at the new Vikings stadium. But this is a lot different here, Amelia. I think that the technology of fantasy sports online are outpacing state laws. It's going much faster. So what is happening in other states, Pat? Yeah, I think it's a mixed bag. The attorney generals in Texas and New York and Massachusetts are challenging these. They're going to court to try to stop these online, uh, online sports sites because they say it's gambling. And this is something that should be illegal. But many other states are legalizing it, like Colorado and Indiana. And Minnesota may go that route, too. All right. Thank you, Pat.